Well, grace and peace to each one of you this day. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, this is Pastor Dan. Uh, I am filming in a screen porch in my house uh, because the worship center is filled today with the celebration of life. And uh, I uh, don't wish to interrupt any of that space for that family. So I'm gonna film from here today. This series is called Overflow and we use the words from the baptismal liturgy. And we say these things, the waters of our baptism overflow and we are called beloved children of God. We are gifted with the spirit, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and joy in God's presence. And we are given the light of Christ. So let our light shine to inspire others and to give glory to God. Please join me in this prayer. God who knows us by name, in the waters of baptism, you have promised to be with us every day, every moment of our life. And you are with us now in each person gathered in the spaces in between us, in our prayers, in our thoughts, in our song. So let us breathe deeply of your spirit today. Shape us, lead us, comfort us, guide us, embolden us that we might give glory to you and be a light for this world. In Jesus Christ's name, Amen. I am so excited to be with you today, wherever you are in the world. Thank you for being part of this congregation, Shepherd of the Lake. Today's message centers around the Gospel of John, the 8th chapter, the 12th verse, and the baptismal liturgy that we use this verse in as we baptize uh, each other in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We quote John this way. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. Therefore, let your light so shine before others that they may see in your good works the glory of the Lord. A lesson for this day. So on this particular Sunday, we have four baptisms, uh, which I am so excited for, and I I wear lots of different hats now at baptisms, but you know, my deepest calling is as a father and so as a parent. And so I bring that to these baptisms and I, and I look at these little ones and their parents and I think, oh my gosh, this is the most sacred thing in the whole world to, to share this one beautiful life with those that we love the most and to be able to share with each other the, the joy of this gospel and the good news of Jesus Christ and the life that we find as we follow him. I also have the hat of a pastor on, right, where I see in these, in these young baptized children and adults the potential of what God can do in them and through them, and I see them as these beloved, perfect children of God. I now have the hat of a grandfather on, right, where <laughs> I see how short this life is, I see how sacred every day is, and I, I just surround these precious children of God with, with my prayers for not just a beautiful and, and healthy and safe and vibrant life, but also the hopefulness that each of these lives represents in a world that is oftentimes broken and hard and short. And then I just bring myself as one who just loves life and loves people and loves especially these little people that we so often baptize. I take joy in all of it. So, so I am excited about every baptism we do. I'm very excited about this particular Sunday. And there is um, a song from the musical Hamilton that I have shared at our most recent affirmation of baptism services, our confirmation services. When I talk to the parents, godparents, and special friends of these confirmands, because I know that for many of them, They've loved these people since they took their first breath and they have invested their hopes and their dreams in these children. And, and there's a song from Hamilton called Dear Theodosia, where both Alexander Hamilton and his rival Aaron Burr sing to their children, Theodosia and Philip, um, about their hearts as these children come into the world. And the lyrics in particular it starts with Aaron Burr, Dear Theodosia, what to say to you? You have my eyes and you have your mother's name. When you came into this world, you cried 
and it broke my heart. I'm dedicating every day to you. Domestic life was not quite my style. When you smile, you knock me out. I fall apart and I thought I was so smart. There's a chorus that comes in and part of that goes, if we lay a strong enough foundation, we'll pass it on to you. We'll give the world to you and you'll blow us all away. Someday, someday, yes, you'll blow us all away. Someday, someday. And then the character of Alexander Hamilton, when Manuel Miranda sings to Hamilton's son, Philip. Oh, Philip, when you smile, I am undone, my son. Look at my son. Pride is not what the word I'm looking for. There is so much more inside me now. Oh, Philip, you outshine the morning sun, my son. When you smile, I fall apart, and I thought I was so smart. And you'll blow us all away. Someday. Someday you'll blow us all away. Someday. Man, that, that, that goes to my heart as a father, as a grandfather. I understand those words so incredibly well. They are powerful and emotional. And I would say, inasmuch as we are created in the image of God, inasmuch as we are God's creation, I have to believe this is the way God feels about every one of God's beloved children. And we echo these words in our baptismal liturgy through quoting Jesus from John 8 and adding some verbiage to it. We believe that God says this very same thing by saying, you are a light, my daughter, my son. If we look at this piece of scripture carefully today, or the lesson that we're centering this around, it goes like this, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. And we know that to be true, right? Especially in the Gospel of John, this image of Jesus as light, where God sent Jesus to show us how to be a human, to show us the light, the power of love, which lightens everything up and brings light to even the darkest corners of humanity. We say that about Jesus. Jesus is the light, my light, your light, and the light of the world. Jesus continues, whoever follows me will have the light of life. So if you are living in the way of Jesus, showing compassion to your neighbor, um, fighting for justice for the sake of your neighbor, embracing this beautiful sacred life with honor and love and respect, showing up every day with generosity, empathy, joy in this one sacred life, you are, you have in you the light of life. At the baptismal services, we will give candles to each one of these families as they share their faith with their child through the years. They will light this candle on the anniversary of the baptism and say to their child, you are the light of Jesus. You have the light of Jesus in you, the light of this world, and so shine. That's how I feel about my kids. That's how we feel about all of our kids, right? Just shine. We see it in you. We see the perfection, the beauty, the giftedness. Just shine. Let your light shine. When you smile, I come undone. Hamilton says to Philip, God says, in the very same way, you are my precious beloved child, so shine. So this image of light, right, really, really evocative. And, and let me remind you, there are lots of different kinds of light, right? There is the light of sunshine, just, just the beauty of this light that illuminates everything. We know people in our life that at least for a season, they have been sunshine for us. That when they come into our orbit, the world is warmer and brighter, more joyful, right? There are times where we can look at each other and say, shine like the morning sun. There is the kind of light that a lighthouse provides, right? This, this beacon in the darkness that points a way, that shows you the safe passage. There are times where we are asked to be that kind of light for the world. 
There is the light of a flashlight, right? A light that maybe isn't shining up the whole world, maybe isn't shining up the whole ocean, but is, is this light that is our path for our feet, inch by inch, day by day, foot by foot. Sometimes somebody comes alongside of us and lights up just enough of the darkness for us to make our way out of an impossible situation safely. Another kind of light for us would be a reading light, right? That perhaps there is a moment in your life, a season in your life, or a vocation for you where you are just simply there to be a light so other people can understand, so other people can know, so other people can learn. I was just on the campus of Gustavus watching a tenure celebration for new faculty. They are light as they teach biology and, and um, psychology and human development and, and media and all of it is light. Perhaps you are called to be a reading light for others. Then there is the trouble lights in this world, right? The ones that flash danger. They are the, the safety system for our life. One of our sons, his wife refers to him as the safety officer. Oftentimes his light shines in this world as the one who's like, seeing around the corner for the danger and the warning and simply he shines so that we can make good decisions in a timely fashion. Hmm. There are so many kinds of light in this world and you and me, because we are followers of Jesus, we have that light in us. C.S. Lewis said, you know, if you're looking for a religion that's comforting, Christianity is not probably for you. <laughs> Sometimes we only think of the light of sunshine, right? The beautiful, comfortable, easy, joyful, abundant light of sunshine. But oftentimes this is a dark and troubled and difficult world. It is not for the faint of heart. And sometimes our light needs to shine like a candle in a fragile wind, right? Barely hanging on, barely flickering, but yet light. And so may your light so shine May you remember you were once this beautiful, perfect, innocent, infant child of God. And in you, all those that were gathered the day you were baptized saw in you light. Now, wherever you are in your faith journey, as, as beaten down or worn down or cynical as you may be, find your light, find your light and let it shine in this world as we say in our baptism, so that others may see light in you and that you might glorify God. This one beautiful, sacred life that we have, we are to be light. May your light so shine in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen and blessings to you this day. Oh, no.
Now, to close out this service today, I want to offer you this blessing and this sending. So go now with a spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the spirit of joy in God's presence, and may your light shine in the name of Jesus Christ, the light of this world. Amen. Have a wonderful week, everybody. Thank you.